Hi folks, Dave here. So it's been a long time since I made another video and that's because for about six months I've been moving to a new homestead. It's a lot of work and it's very taxing so I just have not been able to put out a lot of video content. For over 30 years I've moved from place to place and never really felt like I was there to stay. I never could settle down. Everything I did was sort of temporary and half-baked and rushed and in a hurry. Much of that is due to the health situation that I have and many other things as well. I have always dreamed of having somewhere spacious and big to do big projects, farming, homesteading, greenhouses, big solar power projects, and so forth. But most of all, I want peace and quiet. Now there is no way I could get my hands on this property alone. I'm not a rich man, and it took an act of God. I have to give credit to a higher power. I didn't think I was going to get it. I had pretty much given up. Uh, even right up to the very last minute, I didn't think it was going to happen. In fact, somebody else had already stepped in front of me to buy it in the first place, so I had to get through that. And anyway, long story short, I ended up going to the closing, and I couldn't believe it. Um, it was quite a shock to come out and see this land and see how quiet it is, how peaceful it is, how much room there is. I've never had this much space, and I've never been anywhere where I felt like I could just settle down. As many of you probably already know, moving can be extremely stressful and it can invoke a lot of hidden expenses you didn't see coming. Case in point, the very day after closing on this property, I was informed that the septic tank system had not been working in a long time and I was hit with a bill of $11,000. I had already endured tens of thousands of dollars of expenses and let's just say that getting that news was not much fun. There was really no fun I was having anywhere in this process for the entire year of 2025 especially, but let's just say even if there was a little fun, when I got the news of that bill, any fun that was there quickly vanished. But I tried to console myself by saying, just look at this property, it's so peaceful and quiet, most of the time all you hear is the birds and the wind blowing. That shocked me the first time I heard it, I wasn't used to it, I couldn't believe how quiet it was out there. So I really hope my wreck nervous system will heal up out here. We'll see how that goes. There's going to be a lot of work required to get this place up and running. And as soon as I can, I will start recording some of my work. If you have anything in particular you're interested in seeing, please feel free to let me know. At the time of creating this video, I'm actually still moving my stuff. It's a lot of stuff. I'm by myself and I don't really have any real help. So I'm kind of on my own. It's going to take more time, but as soon as I can, as soon as humanly possible, I'll be back at my computer and I'll start doing some video editing and catch up on my projects. I'll have a new solar workshop, but that's going to take a bit of time to get that up and running. That's the well house you're looking at right now in this clip. That's our new backyard, and there appears to be some kind of fruit tree there. I'm very excited about that. I'm not sure what kind of fruit it is, but I'll figure it out. Note to self. If you don't really like mowing grass, don't buy 40 acres in the country. Unfortunately, my riding mower is at the other property until I sell it. I wouldn't be crazy enough to try to take a push mower to this yard, would I? I love my Cobalt 80 volt mower. This thing has been with me for many years. It was the first mower to come out here on this property and cut some grass. Folks, stay tuned. There's going to be some good content coming. Thanks to all of our new subscribers and those who are still with us. More stuff is on the way. See you soon. If you like this video and you want to support my work, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment if you have time. Thanks for watching, folks, and I hope to see you next time.